this is Megan. Uh, I work at the Saskatoon Public Library on Treaty 6 territory, um, the homeland of the Métis also. And today I'm going to show you how we can build with cardboard, or rather how we can connect things together when we're building with cardboard. So I have a few different techniques, uh, fold, gusset, flange, a slot or an insert, and a wrap. Let's start with the top, the fold. So this one I use for two little skinny pieces. You can fold them over just like a piece of paper and then you can connect them through the fold can close off the ends there and it becomes a pretty tight connection. Or you can do it with several and you'll end up, if you have a good sense of how to weave things, you can weave several folds together. But weaving is kind of its own special skill. You can always practice. There we go. And then it's really secure. Okay, fold, let's move on to gusset. So a gusset is kind of like what you see with some shelves on the wall where the two pieces, straight pieces, are reinforced with a triangle. So the more gussets you have, the stronger the connection will be. Right now I've got one on each end and it's a little bit soft and can bend in the middle. So to make that stronger, I can just add another one there, reinforce this end. Next one, my favorite, flange. So a flange is like a lip of a smaller piece that sits inside and is connected to a larger piece. It's hard to describe, but I'll show you an example. So you have a cardboard tube. And if we cut several flaps, it's always hard to connect a tube to a flat surface. So if you connect it by folding out series of straight flaps and then connecting those flats you keep the tube shape and it's attached to a flat piece or another way to make it extra strong is if you cut a hole and then stick it through so the flange flaps are on one side makes it even stronger because it can't pull through and it doesn't just sit on top. Flange, let's move on to a slot or an insert. This one's pretty easy. You can make different shapes like a triangle or a square. I'm going to cut some squares. And then cut a slot from the edge and this way they can slot together if you push them all the way in. It's a nice strong connection and then you can use it to build up or sideways. You can make several And then your structure can stand on its own. This is like a strange paper sculpture. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Hmm. Or, let's see, you can make a little tab, cut out a little half circle with the
straight base and then measure how wide the circle is on another piece and cut a little slot there and then you can insert one into the other and if you fold the tab down it'll keep it in place and the last one to connect things is the wrap so if you have two pieces that you want to secure together. You can also use, I like pipe cleaners, you could use a piece of string, but the important part is to start in the middle and get it evenly across and then go in the other direction. Get both sides. And then that'll hold right in place. It's pretty secure. Go this way again. Oh yeah. All right. So those are a couple of different ways that you can connect things together. So have fun building with cardboard. Thanks.